This dates back to the late 90s when I joined my career in the pharmaceutical industry as a frontline sales officer. I was posted out of a town known as Meerut in the Western UP. From Meerut, I was supposed to cover an interior town which was known as Badoth. Badoth was basically a jacked belt. We were very strongly advised while traveling to Badoth, we could take the first bus at 6 a.m. in the morning and ensure that we took the last bus out of Badoth, which was at 4 p.m. We were very strongly advised not to miss that bus. On one wintry morning, I boarded the 6 a.m. bus from Meerut, reached Badoth, finished off my field working, but as luck would have it, I missed the outgoing bus at 4 p.m. by a couple of minutes. By the time I reached the bus stand, there was nothing, no mode of conveyance. I tried very hard to find some mode of conveyance, some jeep, some truck, some tractor, but there was nothing at all. The fear was looming large. And there was a reason for this fear. I was told that there was a presumption in that village that these reps who came from Meerut carrying these huge leather bags carried a lot of cash. And there were some goons and hooligans who had in the past looted, beaten black and blue and taken away the bags from the farmer reps. That fear was good enough to give me the chill in my spine besides the winter which was already there. I went around the town or the village looking out for some way which I could use to get back to Meerut. But there was none. All of a sudden, I saw right in front of the bus stand a maternity hospital. This maternity hospital was run by a lady doctor who had retired from the armed forces. I went there with a lot of hope. As I wished the doctor, rather than replying back to my wish, she just started scolding me. How the hell are you here? Don't you know? It is already four past and you're still there in this town. How will you go back to Meerut? I was shaking with fear. I did not know how to respond. The moment she calmed down, I explained the entire story to her. She also had did not much to do. She asked me to sit and offered me a cup of tea. By the time both of us calmed down, she asked me, what did I have in mind? And I said, I do not know. I don't know what to do. She then said, okay, fine. You leave your bags here, go around the village and find out if you can get some place to live and come back to me. I said, okay, doc. I left my bag and baggage there. I went around the village, inquired, but nobody was ready to help me. By the time I came back, it was 7 p.m. and it was already pitch dark. I met the doctor again and I asked her, what did she have in mind? She said, since she was single, and it was a village, she could not accommodate me or take me up to her home. But she said that yes, she would help me. She took me into the maternity ward. There were six beds. Out of six beds, three were already occupied by females. And I saw on one corner, a bed with complete partitions all around was secluded. She showed me the bed and she said, quietly lie down here without making a noise for the entire night. I was stunned. While she made me comfortable, she went upstairs, she got me dinner. I had my dinner and I thanked her and she asked me to sleep. I slept well with the warm blanket which she gave on a very comfortable bed. Morning 5 am, I was woken up by the alarm. She was right there standing in front of me like a goddess. She offered me a cup of tea. I sipped that tea and then she said, now you will have to move out of the nursing home before the sun rises and the villagers see you out here it is going to be a difficult situation so please move out with your bag and package i was literally speechless i bowed down touched her feet took her blessings took my bag and moved out of the nursing home this incident still looms large on my memory how much ever I want to forget it, I can never forget it. She came to my help at such a time where there was no help available. The entire village had closed its door on me. Not knowing what to do, 
she really came as a god and helped me and rescued me out of that situation i am sure you all have had such type of situations where the strong woman this courageous woman have come up to your rescue isn't it on this beautiful day of the international women's day i bow down to in respect to all the ladies all the women folk out there who have made our lives worthwhile on this world thank you